I use an air-cooled torch a lot, and I don't always use a gas lens for aluminum, but sometimes I like this setup, a number six cup with a rounded tip. Not a necessarily a bald tip, but a rounded tip. For a thick outside corner joint, this is quarter inch wall thickness aluminum tubing, that rounded tip seems to make the cleaning action work better, and it seems to make the arc fan out and kind of wrap the corners on an outside corner joint. So my settings, I, I went low frequency, 60 hertz, 67% on the balance. I set the machine at 200 amps. I rarely needed all 200, I did at first. I punched it and I started backing off once the piece started getting some heat put in it. So I'm using a 332 2% lanthanated electrode here with a 332 filler rod. See how that the, the arc cone there kind of fans out a little bit? I'm not looking at pinpointing heat here. I want a nice fat wide bead that puts a lot of heat into the part. You don't always want that, but there are times when you do want a big fat bead. You can see how that arc cone is just fanning out there. So the main thing I like to see on aluminum is a, is, a, is a clean puddle, a puddle that's free from a bunch of black spots, which would mean I either don't have enough argon coverage or the metal's not clean enough or I don't have enough cleaning action. You can see I'm, I'm hovering around 175 to 185 amps there for most of this. The, the puddle is pretty darn clean. That's a solid plug that I'm welding in there, just uh, for your information. And once I overlap two or three ripples, I taper off and wiggle the arc around to not leave a crater crack. All right, coming up, I'm going to show another application for a rounded tip, but not quite a bald tip, but a, a rounded tapered tip. Some machines have a function to actually ball the electrode. See, it reads out on my AC balance ball, and that's just putting a lot of EP into the cycle. So I'm going to hold this right directly over a piece of copper and just kind of Press the foot pedal just enough while I keep an eye on it to get a rounded tapered tip. That's beneficial sometimes when you need a little bit more control of the arc, a little bit more pinpointed heat, but you're not really trying to get down into a tight area. This is just an outside corner joint on some eighth inch wall aluminum angle. But it works well. Another thing I want you to notice here, this is just a habit that I've gotten into, is see how I lengthen the arc length just a little bit as I add filler rod? I dirty up a whole lot fewer electrodes when I do that. It's worked out pretty well for me. Just a habit. You don't necessarily have to do it. It's kind of subtle. I'm not like really lengthening it a whole bunch, but it helps me not duff that electrode into the puddle when I do that. So on a on a T joint, you kind of want to want to really pinpoint the heat into the root of the joint. And that's kind of difficult sometimes on aluminum, so oftentimes I will just use a sharpened electrode to do that and let it just kind of round however it wants to round, depending on how I have my heat set and how I have my AC balance set. Hope this helps.